guys, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister, and welcome back to City Skyline South Africa, episode 3. In this episode, guys, I'm going to start to develop the port area of the city. I know in the last episode, I told you guys I would work on downtown to kind of fill in the cracks between all of the skyscrapers, you know, placing down some smaller buildings and stuff. But I thought it would get a better sense of how I wanted the city to develop if I started off with the port and I work my way more inland. That's just my way of working. I, I don't know, I'm weird like that. But anyways, I'm gonna be starting off with the port. Just one section of it though, I'm not gonna build the whole thing because the port of this city is going to be absolutely massive. Um, it's gonna take multiple episodes to do up the whole thing. But I'm gonna get to that later on in the series. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna do this small section and then next episode, I think I'm gonna get into what I was supposed to do this episode in the first place, which is uh, fill in the cracks, basically, this is what I'm calling it, between all the big skyscrapers with, you know, smaller buildings and older buildings and stuff like that. So for this port area, um, it's not going to be like m the most important or the most like major part of the whole port area. Um, this is going to be mostly for like smaller fishing ships, uh, things like that. There is going to be a smaller like container area, but it's not going to be to the extent that another section of this port is going to be. Um, so you'll see as I, I go along, like a, a lot of what's going to line this shoreline right here. So I'm, I'm placing down some of these docks here. Uh, they're going to be filled with like boxes and small containers and they're not going to be filled in with like actual shipping containers as much like you would find in any other port. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be pretty cool. And nonetheless, it's going to be a pretty important uh, landmark in the city. So for this particular area of the port, I am completely basing this off of the port of the port in Cape Town. Uh, the port area that's like nearest to downtown. This is what this is. It's basically just like a giant slab of concrete with some small warehouses here and there and a bunch of like junk it seems like just lying all over the place. It's It doesn't look as organized and as clean as like some modern shipping port areas. So y you can tell like the port in Cape Town is definitely a lot older and it was probably one of like the the first areas or the first sections of the port to be built so this is what this is going to be nothing fancy just a generic port just to get the downtown area started and it's going to look really cool at the end guys it's going to look basic i find I, I might retouch a lot of this port off camera and maybe adding some props and stuff because i feel after doing this episode and putting a couple of hours into this area i still felt like it was kind of plain at the end of it uh, so it's going to require a little bit more work in the near future, but that's okay. It'll do for now. Um, I was just basically building it to get started on the downtown area, which I'm going to try to include like a ton of detail. And this was a ton of work too, using these docks here. So they're super great. They're like the best looking docks I find on the workshop texture wise and, and that kind of stuff but usability it's a little bit more challenging due to the terrain of course um, luckily the terrain is pretty flat here so it wasn't that difficult but it was just really time-consuming to to get all of these blocks down so yeah I mean for the most part that's what's going on in this episode guys now you may notice in this episode that I'm jumping around a lot so scenes are going to cut and then I'm all of a sudden just going to be in a different area or something. This is just because as I'm building or as I'm just starting this series, I just kind of have the basic uh, asset list for starting out a city. So I'm missing a ton of stuff. And one example are these toll booths here. So I wanted to place down a toll booth or I should say like a really compact toll booth to get into the port area. And by the way, this is just one of many entrances that I'm gonna place down for this port, but this is like one of the main entrances. So I was looking for um, toll booths to uh, to put in this city. So what I had to do was quit the game, download a toll booth off the workshop, hop back into the game, and then by then I totally forgot like which camera angle I was at and, and whatnot. So I just began rolling where 
I was at that moment. So it's going to be a little bit choppy throughout this episode because I had to go shopping on the workshop like three or four times to get different assets and props and decals and, and whatnot. So uh, forgive me for that. As the series progresses, you're probably going to see less and less of that. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure you guys don't mind. So yeah, like I said, most of this port's going to be a warehouse kind of area. Uh, and I'm going to try to place down... And I'm going to place down a bunch of props like containers and um, garbage. Well, not garbage, but, you know, stuff all around these buildings. And I actually revise a lot of this area a little later in this episode. Like I said, I felt like the area was a little bit too plain for my liking. It just kind of looked boring. So I spruced it up a little bit by the end of this episode, adding a couple more warehouses where I just, there, there's just like an empty lot of dirt or, or pavement but yeah this part was actually really difficult to create I don't know why I think it's just the layout there's not a ton of room to play with but I don't know it, it was just a little more difficult than what I envisioned when I started this Oh yeah, I should I talk about this too? This is actually really cool. I'm so glad I figured this out. So these train tracks here by Ronnie X are a little different than the default texture. But what I found out was when you put them in bridge mode, they don't include uh, like gates or fences on either side like the vanilla textures do. So as you're seeing me do right now, I've lowered them just enough so only the rails are peeking above the cement here. So what this does is it creates a rail line into the cement where trains can actually drive right up to the dock underneath some large cranes that I'm going to be placing down in a minute to unload their cargo. So this is actually, this is something that I've kind of always wanted when building a port and I never figured out how to get things to look just right. And what's weird is that you can't put a rail line ground level too close to the shore because then it, it just like screws up the terrain right so by putting it in bridge mode this worked absolutely perfectly i'm super glad i found this out it was just kind of a mistake really because i was actually trying to place down the rails on at like ground level and i didn't notice i was already in bridge mode so it was kind of a, a really neat discovery and another thing too is these rail lines by Ronnie X don't include the cantilevers or the, the catenaries. Um, so that's really cool as well. So there's nothing in the way. They just kind of fit right well into this port. So uh, you could take this as a little tutorial guys on how to do this. It's actually really simple. The biggest challenge is just to get the elevation just right so it fits. But it's really not that bad. And this, uh, I'm going to try as much as possible to get this functional. So at the end of this episode, uh, there's a bunch of rail lines that I'm going to place down some prop containers and, and trains and stuff on because I know those rail lines aren't functional. So I just wanted to, you know, populate them with a bunch of stuff. But this rail line here, this main line, I want 100% to be functional. So I'm going to leave it blank and uh, we'll see how how it all goes because I downloaded a whole bunch of workshop trains that you guys mentioned in the last episode so thanks so much for by the way for that guys um, so yeah I was able to go on the workshop and look around for some uh, European trains that fit well or, or that you know could fit well in a South African style city so uh, thanks for that I, I downloaded some buses uh, what else some trains some taxis there's actually like a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't downloaded yet that would fit really nicely into this area. And as far as a name goes for this city, you guys are probably curious on that. 
I'm not 100% sure what I want the name of this city to be yet. I don't know if I'm just going to keep going with the South Africa name. I, I, at this point, I'm probably just going to keep the South Africa name regardless. Uh, but the city still needs an actual name. I think someone actually suggested like Cape Durbanburg or something like that. I'll have to check that out again. But I actually, I, I actually like that name. You know, it's it, it's kind of funny because this city takes inspiration from Johannesburg, Durban, and Cape Town. So it'd be kind of funny to use that name. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm either going to go with maybe like some sort of African's name. Uh, you guys have given me some really great suggestions. And um, I might do that or maybe go for like a British colonial name like Cape Victoria or something like that. I'm not sure yet, guys, but keep the suggestions coming in if you guys have any. Um, I was actually surprised how many comments I was getting from people from South Africa. You know, I, I didn't realize a lot of my viewers were from there, or I don't know, maybe maybe you're all new viewers who've never seen my channel before. So if uh, you're just starting to watch this now, uh, welcome to the channel, and I really hope that you like my videos. Um, so yeah, keep the suggestions coming, guys. Keep the comments flowing. Uh, I really appreciate all the help that you guys are giving me, like, you know, from suggesting trains and buses and everything else to a lot of people were um, suggesting some places that I should take inspiration from too, like some specific monuments or some specific streets in Cape Town. It's really appreciated, guys. Keep those suggestions coming. I read every single comment, I promise. I'm gonna try to get as many of those areas as I can in the city. You know, for you guys who are from South Africa, you guys know your area better than anybody else. So I'm 100% gonna take uh, any suggestions or any tips from you guys. So keep them coming. Um, so yeah, the port is shaping up now. So the basic outline of it is built. Now it's just adding some props and things like that. Um, and yeah, one big thing that I'm gonna do at the very end of this episode, I forgot if I included it on camera or not. Uh, I'm gonna place down a big, like, giant warehouse over here where these rails are. Uh, so all of these rail tracks are gonna be moved at some point, and uh, a big, like, huge warehouse will be added, and a train track. Actually, I think it's one of the main lines that goes right through, so you guys are gonna see that in just a little while. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, guys, since I released a South Africa video. Sorry for the delay. Uh, there's just been a ton going on in my life recently, and I haven't gotten a chance to make any South Africa videos, but I booted the game back up, guys, and I've just been plucking away, building some stuff, and, you know, doing some more research on on different areas of the city that I can, uh, I can include in the series. Uh, one, so... Last episode, I kind of like, I kind of like arrogantly mentioned these like flat plains or, or these empty neighborhoods just outside of downtown Cape Town. And I didn't realize the history behind those areas. So what I'm referring to is District 6. And if you guys don't know about it, I suggest, you know, go do a little bit of research, check out some videos on YouTube about it. There's tons of documentaries and stuff online. It's actually like really eye-opening, the stuff that has gone on in that district. Um, it's crazy. I didn't realize it was that bad, honestly. So I think we should probably include that kind of area in the city. I know like I want to avoid as much as possible any political talk uh, in this series. Like I know when you mention South Africa, it brings up a ton of controversial topics and whatnot so I, I just kind of want to avoid all of the political speak and all that but I still want to capture you know the real South Africa in city skylines as much as I can so I can't really ignore a lot of these um, like these these landmarks so I think part of the city I'm gonna try to do like a mini district six if you will just like you know maybe a, a couple of blocks that are just open fields something like that just to you know just to add a little bit more realism to it. But anyway, back to the port. Um, so for the last little while in this episode, I'm just gonna place down these boxes. So this is what I meant, guys, that this part of the port is much more, it's less commercial and more like, you know, smaller fishing vessels and stuff would dock here and, and unload and 
private boats and things like that. So less major than what is to come for the rest of the port. But yeah, going back and forth from Google Maps to in-game, I think I got the Cape Town port relatively accurately. You know, it's it's obviously not going to be a one-to-one -one scale perfect replica, but as long as I get like the same vibe, that's what I'm going for. And I was getting the same vibe here, so, you know, I, I think everything turned out pretty well. So guys, like so far you've been really amazing with the suggestions, but drop down a comment below if there's any like particular areas around the central business district of Cape Town that I should take inspiration from, like a specific block or a specific building. I know a few of you have actually mentioned a couple of buildings that are in Cape Town that, that I should plop. However, there's not, there's not many like South African buildings on the workshop, so I just have to kind of make do with, you know, whatever's available but uh, still drop a comment down below let me know if there's anything that I should try to plop down if it's not available on the workshop then I can plop something that may look like it so yeah let me know guys keep the feedback coming in I love it because you know like I said next episode I think I'm gonna get into downtown and, and do like I said start plopping down some small buildings, some little plazas and things. Downtown is going to be a, a, a quite large project. It's gonna span over multiple episodes, so it's not gonna be like just next episode and it's all done. I figure we could probably pump out like five episodes maybe of just the downtown area. And then we'll move on to different things. So, and, and just a sneak peek too, so I'm going back to the port now. So this section of the port is inspired by Cape Town, but the industrial, or I guess like the more major part of this port, so like the shipping container area of the port will be more um, inspired by Durban. I actually really like how the port looks like in Durban. It's, it's more like, I don't know, it kind of looks more abstract. It has a weird shape to it that I kind of like, so. I'm going to be building that in the near future, or maybe not the near future, but the future. Okay, so I, <laughs> I kind of forgot what I filmed here, guys, but I guess I did include this giant warehouse here, and it was kind of a challenge to place down at first because I just had to, like, shove everything to the side to get this building to fit, but I'm glad I got it to fit because it just adds so much to the port area. It, um, it lessens the boringness of it just a little bit. So guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some cinematics that are coming right up, and you'll get a better glimpse of this warehouse area too. Um, I think you guys will appreciate that. So guys, uh, like I said, drop a comment down below, leave a like, and also feel free to subscribe to the channel for much more content on the way, guys. I'm already working on downtown, actually, as of starting this episode playing around with some different assets and just getting a feel for or just getting a feel for how I'm going to go about building downtown. So, with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching and until next episode, take care.